Thank you for coming to Starbright Storytime. Today's book is The Great Getaway by Olga Kosi, illustrated by Ellen Anderson. The Great Getaway. The Great Getaway by Olga Kosi, illustrated by Ellen Anderson. First, it was the twins. Ever since they were born, Mom and Dad were always busy, busy, busy. Then for lunch that day, Elizabeth and Jennifer found on each plate a nest of the nastiest, fattest, cooked green beans they had ever seen. That did it. Let's run away, whispered Elizabeth. No more twins. No more green beans. Right said Jennifer. Big sisters are always right. So Elizabeth and Jennifer hurried to their room. They filled their suitcases with all the toys they just had to take with them. When the suitcases were full, there were a lot of favorite toys left over. Let's put those toys in the big laundry basket, Elizabeth said. We can take them too. Right, said Jennifer. So they filled the laundry basket with toys and they strapped their skates to the bottom of the basket so it would roll. Then they carried their suitcases and pushed the laundry basket past the bathroom where mom and dad were busy bathing the twins. They rolled out the front door and out the iron gate that led to the sidewalk. I think we should go this way, said Elizabeth. Right, said Jennifer. So the two sisters hurried along, carrying their suitcases and pushing the laundry basket full of toys between them. The wheels of the skates sang a song as they rolled over the cracks in the sidewalk. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack. We're running away and we'll never come back. When they got to the corner, Elizabeth and Jennifer stopped. They had never before crossed the street alone. Let's turn the corner and walk one more block, said Elizabeth. Jennifer nodded. Elizabeth was right. This time, the skate wheels sang, clickety-clack, clickety-clack, we made it this far and we're not going back. Soon, Elizabeth and Jennifer got tired. They sat on the sidewalk and played with their toys while they rested. Then they were on their way again. Now the wheels sang merrily, clickety-click, clickety-click, the twins are boring and green beans are sick. At the next corner, Elizabeth said, This looks like a good place to cross the street. Come on, Jennifer. Very carefully, they rolled the laundry basket over the curb. Just then, a red sports car zoomed by. Then a station wagon and a huge truck zoom, zoom. Elizabeth and Jennifer scrambled back onto the sidewalk. This is not a safe place to cross the street, decided Elizabeth. We'll walk down one more block. Elizabeth was right again. They turned the corner. Jennifer reached for Elizabeth's hand while the skate wheels sang a brave new song. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, nothing can scare us or make us go back. At the next corner, Elizabeth said, I'm sure we can cross here. They stepped down from the curb. Two shiny black motorcycles roared around the corner and thundered by. Hastily, Elizabeth and Jennifer scrambled back onto the sidewalk. That was close, gulped Elizabeth. Right, agreed Jennifer. 
They walked on. By the time the two sisters reached the fourth corner, the skate wheels were singing another song. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, are we still having fun or should we go back? We'd better cross the street this time, Elizabeth warned. They looked both ways, twice. Then they started to cross. All of a sudden, a huge shaggy dog came bounding toward them from across the street. Woof, 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 he barked, his ears flopping and his long tongue hanging out. Oh, oh, oh let's run, Elizabeth shouted. They pulled the laundry basket back up on the sidewalk, rolled around the corner, and raced down the block as fast as they could go. By then, the skate wheels were singing a different song. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, we'll be ever so happy if we just make it back. The dog was catching up when Elizabeth saw a familiar iron gate. It was theirs. She pushed it open and ran inside, pulling Jennifer and their toys with her. The gate slammed shut behind them before the dog could squeeze through. Look, we're home, cried Elizabeth. We only ran around the block. You're right, said Jennifer. They rolled the laundry basket into the house. They rolled it past the bathroom, where Mom and Dad were still busy with the twins, and they rolled it to their room. They put away their toys, the suitcases, the skates, and the laundry basket. Then they hurried to the kitchen. They were hungry. Running away was fun, wasn't it? Elizabeth whispered as they sat in the kitchen, eating cold, cooked green beans and drinking milk. Yes, agreed Jennifer, but so is coming home. Elizabeth nodded. This time, it was Jennifer's turn to be right. First, it's new twins in the house, then icky green beans for lunch. How much can two sisters bear? Let's run away from home, whispers Elizabeth. Jennifer nods in agreement. As they push a toy-laden laundry basket down the block, the wheels sing clickety-clack, clickety-clack. We're running away and we might not come back. Unexpected obstacles await them at every corner, but the sisters forge ahead. Share the surprise and delight of these resourceful girls when they safely reach their destination. First published in the United States and Canada in 1991 by Gareth Stevens Children's Books. Milwaukee, Wisconsin, USA. Text copyright 1991 by Olga Kosi. Illustrations copyright 1991 by Ellen Anderson. Format copyright 1991 by Gareth Stevens, Inc. This has been The Great Getaway by Olga Kosi, illustrated by Ellen Anderson. Thank you for coming to Starbright Storytime.